any do's and don'ts that you would share from your experience? Yeah, the, the first thing would just be to understand your worth. Because life is all about negotiations. And if you don't understand your worth, somebody else is going to tell you what that is. Okay, let me get in my my bag real quick. Uh, so so your Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you, if you may have waited from a podcast standpoint to get paid, but I do be seeing some uh, of these little sponsored joints on the Instagram, whether, you know, we, we talking about certain baby brands, whatever, because, you know, the, the pregnancy journey and things like that. Uh, how do you maneuver around saying yes, saying no when it comes to your social media? Yeah, that's why I can say no to the podcast because we make enough money off of Instagram and social <laughs> ooh, ooh, media. Talk about it. <laughs> no, talk yeah. about it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I could definitely turn down the deals with the podcast until it reached the level that I wanted to reach or that we wanted to reach. Um, but as far as brand deals, when it comes to social media, we've been a, I, I've done a great job of just honing in on my audience. I've had to reinvent myself constantly over yeah. social media. Like if people scroll back to see where I started from, I had to find my space because, you know, when you just starting this thing out, it's like you're trying everything that everybody else is doing. And then you're paying attention to your analytics and you're seeing what really resonates with your audience. And I did that in the parenting space and just being a, a husband and being a father. And I'm like, yo, this is what I'm going to build my brand off. And when other brands are seeing that, they're putting more money into influencers instead of radio ads because people don't listen to the radio. People are not. Uh, watching TV anymore. So they got to find a way to still reach their their audiences. And, you know, even with that, I, I still turn down a lot of deals um, when it comes to my social media that be worth a lot of money, for instance, because I, I have certain values that I'm not really willing to cross in order to make money. It was the same reason why I was able to make the decision to walk away from football, to be there for my family and for my daughters, because I understood my values. Because when I was in college, I think there was an interview with Dave Chappelle and Oprah when he walked away from the 50 million. And she was like, if you don't know who you are before the money and fame comes, then you'll never know who you are. And I made it a point during that time to really find out what I find out what I valued as a man. So two things that I, I never promote on you know my social media, just because I have a lot of people within the cancer community following me who are going through challenging times and I have kids who are following me is I don't promote alcohol and I don't promote gambling. And I don't, if that's something that you want to do, that's cool for you to do. Um, I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm perfect. Like I don't have a drink every now and again, but because I understand that I have parents who are battling cancer and sometimes they find negative ways to cope with their pain. I don't want to push alcohol for uh, something that they ended up trying and they like, and they're like, well, this is what I'm going to go to when I'm having a tough time, you know, with my kid battling cancer, or I don't want to um, influence that kid who may be following me, who don't have the, the brain development to understand the decisions that he's really making in his life to try something. And he gets hooked on it because I put that out on my, my platform. So uh, I'm very meticulous about the companies I align with. And as long as they align with my values, then I'll be willing to share that with my audience. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Any any do's and don'ts for people navigating brand sponsorships? I mean, I know you just called out a couple and that's major, the one around the values. But for anybody out there who is starting to get in that level where they're starting to get brands reaching out to them, just navigating the business talk and stuff like that. Any do's and don'ts that you would share from your experience? Yeah, the, the first thing would just be to understand your worth. Because life is all about negotiations. And if you don't understand your worth, somebody else is going to tell you what that is. But you, you have to be realistic with what it is. Like, don't put yourself up here when you're not really there yet. You haven't made to that level. Like, start where you're at and start to work your way up and, and learn how to negotiate with these companies. Because a lot of them, like even with me, I have agents that, that I work with. So sometimes there will be companies that reach out to me and I'll just send them to my agents. But some companies want to work with the influencer directly because I guess that they will have a chance in order to to work a better deal. But set your price point, And if they don't like it, stick with it because you understand some deals are not going to go through because they're going to try to devalue you. Right. There was one mm -hmm. where I had um, somebody, a, a company had asked me to post um, one time and they had paid me uh, like 20,000. Right. And. They, they ask you for access to your your Facebook so that they can start to promote it to audience that are like yours. 
And I had saw after we had finished our contract, they spent like a half a million in order to market me. And I'm like, hold on. I don't think I'm charging enough because if you think, you know, there's you're willing to spend a half a million dollars to put my face out to a certain audience, then my likeness is definitely worth way more money than I thought it was. So I think just by doing your due diligence, understanding your worth, understanding what if they're willing to pay you a certain amount of money, they're trying to make tenfold, twentyfold off of you. So just being able to learn how to negotiate is important. A negotiate word. So serious. So, so serious. Mm-hmm.